everyone and welcome to today's video. If you read the title, you will know that in today's video, I'm doing CD art again. So a while ago, I did some CD art on my channel. However, I only painted three and I had like 10 CDs. So in today's video, I'm going to be painting some more CDs. So now that this video has been explained, let's get into the art. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is prep the CDs. And what I mean by prep is make them clear. So how I'm gonna be doing this is I'm gonna be taking an X-Acto knife or scissors, kinda just depends on what I have around me, and I'm going to be making a line through the CD and then just using tape to peel it off. It kinda sounds confusing when I try to explain it, but once you watch the video, it should be fairly e easy to understand. Now I'm gonna be doing this to all of them except for this one, which I tried to paint in my first video but it ended up being a fail so I didn't include it and I did not finish it so this one is just going to be an opaque CD and if I change my mind later down the road I might also make some of the CDs an opaque design too but for now I'm going to stick with having most of them having some sort of clear aspect in them well that was a lot of talking so let's get into the actual prep I also demonstrated this in my first video, but it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just make a line down the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna take a piece of tape, which really any tape should work for this as long as it's fairly sticky. And generally, a bigger piece of tape works better just so you can get more pieces of the silver film with only one piece. So I'm just gonna stick this on there and then just pull. And here are all the finished clear CDs. Okay, now I can start painting, and here is CD number one. So for this one, I'm actually doing a Minecraft disc from the game Minecraft. And I'm doing disc called White, as it is one of my favorites. I just think it sounds nice. So I've already gotten all of the black on the kind of like background, I guess, done. And now I'm doing the little center bit. Also, I would just like to apologize for not uploading super consistent content lately. It's just been super difficult with school and everything. So I'll probably have to stick to a more like uploading a video every two weeks instead of every week schedule, just as it's easier for me. But I'll still try and upload as often as I can. And with that, I am done the first CD. Now for CD number two, I am doing another Minecraft disc, and this time I'm doing Pig Step, as it is also one of my favorites. For those of you who play the game, you may have noticed that I've actually been playing the music from the discs in the background of this art. I just thought adding that music would be a cool addition to the video. Now I finished the sort of red maroon background, and I am getting started on the yellow slash gold center. So I actually did end up going through and using a Posca pen for part of it, just to kind of make it go by a bit faster and to help keep the lines around the circle cleaner. You may have noticed that these two paintings went by super fast, and that's just because I wanted to spend more time focusing on the more complicated designs. Speaking of which, I have now gotten started on number three. Now for this one, I was inspired by this sort of like smiley face, like, I don't know if abstract's the proper word, but I'll put some pictures up here so you guys know what I'm talking about, but like this sort of design that I've seen all over Pinterest and like YouTube whenever I search for CD art and I just thought it looked so cool, so I wanted to give it a try myself. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting down a white base for all the shapes, and that's because I'm going to be working with yellow, and since it's a pretty light color, having just that like white base will help make it a bit more opaque so I don't have to use as many layers. And now I've gotten started on the yellow blob painting. So for this, I actually used a combination of Posca pens and paint. And that's just because I found the Posca pens were better for getting like finer details and like having a crisp outline. But the paint was a lot faster to use and it covered a lot more surface area. Also, I would honestly 100% recommend CD painting just because it's like super fun and easy and especially if you have like CDs already lying around, it's very cheap and it just adds a bunch of like personality and cool decorations to your room. 
And as someone who has been wanting to decorate, you know, their room a lot more, but hasn't had the money to do so, this has been a great alternative for some more expensive decorations. Also, I just thought I'd clarify in case any of you are confused. No, after you've painted them and you've like peeled off the silver, the CDs do not work anymore. I feel like I'm saying also a lot, but also, if you're planning on doing an opaque design, DVDs work as well, but they do not work for clear designs. Anyways, I have now gotten started on outlining the shapes, so I'm just going in with my black Posca pen and outlining all of them in black. And this one I actually just like felt impatient, so I got started on the face, and I'm just doing this sort of like melted smiley face look. For the rest, I decided to be a bit more patient, and actually off camera, I just went in and drew out all the designs in pencil so that it was a lot easier for me to just go in through with the Posca pen and outline all of them. I'm pretty close to being done my third CD. And with that, I've started my fourth and final CD. So right now I'm just going in with a white opaque base. And for this one, I've actually decided to do this orange slice design. Also, you may have noticed that whenever I do these CD painting videos, I get a whole bunch of paint on my desk. But as you can see, I always wipe it off and it's always all good. And I also use a pencil to sketch out my design. I've decided to outline my sketch with this sort of peachy colored Posca pen just to help it stand out better when I go to paint. First, I painted the outside rim of the orange slice, and also I had to hold the paintbrush at some pretty weird angles at some points. Like, look at this, just because like the camera was in the way. And so in order for me to be able to actually paint, I had to like hold it so awkwardly. I've gone started painting the actual like little triangle bits. And I first just painted everything orange, but I do go in afterwards and add a bit of detail to the slice. I did was I took this paintbrush and kind of almost like dry painted on a bunch of yellow to the orange just to add a bit of texture and depth to it. Then I also used a very similar technique to add some white highlights. I also go in a bit later and use a white gel pen to add some highlights. Lastly, I wanted to paint the back, but I didn't want to put in too much effort since it would be covered, so I decided to kind of go with this idea of painting almost like the outside of an orange, like I'll put an image here for reference. And so I painted the whole thing orange, and now I'm adding a little leaf to it with the green Posca pen. And so sorry for the very bad quality, I was filming this when it was like super dark because I was like, you know what, I'm so close to being done, I just want to like finish this. So I didn't even like bother like setting up proper lighting. I am pretty much now done all the CDs. the four finished cds and let me know in the comments down below which one out of the four is your favorite for me it's probably the smiley face cd like i mentioned before this was honestly so fun to do and i would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to try if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel or you just haven't already make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted every time i upload a new video Anyways, I genuinely hoped you enjoyed the video. Remember to stay weird, and I'll see you next time. Bye!